Andy in the UK writes me, Paul, I was just wondering how you test how robust your components are in your new FR speaker range. It's a question I've often pondered about many new hi-fi components. It seems relatively straightforward to be confident that they sound great, but how do you know if the components will last for many years and still sound great? I realize there must be ways that industry tests the longevity of its products without having to run the equipment for 10 years before we release it. <laughs> well, yes, de definitely. Like our beauties here, the FR20s. Um, if I had waited 10 years of testing to release these, I think, I'd, well, let's see, I'm 75. Well, that would put me at, the, at 85 years old, probably dead at that point. Yeah, who knows? Most of us die, what, in our 90s, late 80s? Yeah, I don't know. But no, I ain't waiting 10 years. <laughs> so how do we do it? Well, a lot of it is experience. When I was at Genesis back in the early 1990s with Infinity founder Arnie Nudell, we had a speaker company together called Genesis. And even that far back, we knew the pitfalls of drivers and what collapsed on them even back then. And of course, today we know even more. And most of it is materials. So what goes wrong in a speaker? Well, you probably are familiar with the idea of the speaker surrounds. You've heard, you know, the little thing that gives it a suspension system. Many years ago, that was a big problem, especially in Asia and countries with a lot of humidity. What would happen is the materials they used in the surrounds, this area, again, that's surrounding the woofer here, would disintegrate over time. And you look at some of the old drivers back then, and you'll find that the, the surrounds, they're kind of like a foam rubber surround, disintegrated. And you'd have, and there's services out there, you can look it up on the internet, replacing surrounds in loudspeakers. Very common problem. But we have been around for nearly 50 years, so we know all of this and what to look for. And they have been tested over the last 50 years because we know what materials to use. So we use surrounds um, that we know will last 50, 60 years that aren't attacked by the humidity. And that's just a choice of materials. The cone materials, again, we know what will survive and what won't based on the experience of decades of doing this sort of thing. And these drivers, these magnets and all that, they're all well-known technology. So thankfully, we only buy the best drivers and design the best drivers. These are all custom designed by our speaker designer, Chris Brunhaber. He designed the mid-range, the tweeters, the woofers, the passive radiators. They too have a surround. So, yeah, I mean, Chris has an amazing amount of experience, and that coupled with my experience over the last 50 years and the industry experience, we know that these speakers will last more than a lifetime. So, hope that answers your question. Okay. Thanks. It was a good one. I appreciate it. All right. Take it easy.